DNA metabarcoding takes DNA barcoding and species identification to the next level by allowing the processing of bulk samples and environmental samples. Like DNA barcoding, metabarcoding can be used for biodiversity management. It can be used to detect invasive species and agricultural pests. It can even be used to identify the presence of endangered species in ecosystems. While some of the lab process is similar to DNA barcoding, metabarcoding looks at the presence of DNA within a community of organisms. So if you were looking for the presence of an invasive species in a lake, for example, DNA metabarcoding of water samples could be an effective tool. This video will present one workflow for metabarcoding bulk insect samples collected with malaise traps. This process begins in the field by collecting small organisms or even just samples of water, soil, or aquatic sediments. Back in the lab, the samples are processed in bulk without sorting them first. Different labs might use different metabarcoding protocols than shown here, but the steps are largely the same. DNA extraction, amplification of the barcode region, and sequencing of this region. The steps are similar to the DNA barcoding workflow, but the technology used is different. The insects are collected passively into a bottle with ethanol. The first step is to remove the ethanol from the bottle. Then, the insect sample is weighed to estimate the amount of lysis buffer to be added. Once the buffer is added, the bottles will go into the incubator on a shaker at 45 degrees overnight. So the next day, our bottles have all been lysed. Now, we'll replicate our plate map and sample our lysate into this round well block with a serological pipette. Now we're ready for extraction. We'll do a liquidator transfer into this fume hood and then we'll spin it in our centrifuge and go through the elution process. This DNA extraction procedure is standard for single sample DNA barcoding and bulk metabarcoding. Now that we've done our extraction, it's time to run a PCR. We'll transfer our samples into a pre-made PCR plate and load it into our thermocycler. Once that's done, we'll move on to the next generation sequencing, or NGS lab. We'll pull the plate into one tube and then purify it on a magnet. Then we take a sample and get a reading of how much DNA is in it, quantifying our library using a Quibit fluorometer. Next, we'll dilute it with water and put it in the Ion Chef system that templates and prepares a chip for sequencing. The last step is sample sequencing. We'll move our chip from the Chef to the IonGene Studio S5 Sequencer, a semiconductor-based NGS system. After the program runs, we'll be able to see data for each of our 96 samples. We'll upload them all to Embrave, an informatics platform specifically designed for metabarcoding data. Here, we'll see the analysis and identifications. Embrave, which is short for Multiplex Barcode Research and Visualization Environment, is a platform that stores, validates, analyzes, and publishes DNA metabarcoding data. It builds on the Bold Systems data platform, which supports species identification and discovery. Technological advances in sequencing methods have allowed metabarcoding to become a tool for rapid biodiversity monitoring on a global scale. Metabarcoding empowers researchers, citizens, and governments to better manage and protect biodiversity.